So over here, once you access Microsoft Copilot, this is what you see in the beginning. So you can see that there's conversation style that you can actually go around and choose. Some from creative, so you can go around and get more creative response and creative more mode. Um, the balance mode is the regular one well, with regular response and precise is more precise for more accurate results and web results and so forth. So you can go around and choose from three modes as you can see right here, just like this. Around over here on the top, you can see the search mode right here, which, which takes you back to the Bing search engine. And you can go around onto copilot mode as you can see. And there's the notebook mode, which has much more uh, character count input and one single output. But this is more like a conversation while there's a single input over here in this mode and a single output. Apart from that, over here on the copilot mode, you got the regular copilot mode right here. You got the designer mode, which allows you to create images. You got the vacation planner that allows you to plan your vacation in a certain location. There's cooking assistant that allows you to um, help around with recipes and so forth. And there's fitness trainer as well. So there's five modes in copilot as well. Apart from that, you can go around onto the top right hand side and here you can access the copilot as well. So once you go around and access copilot from there, you see the same thing over here just like this, but you also have access to compose option over here just like this. Once you go around onto compose, you can go around and tell it to write certain things like paragraphs, emails, ideas and blog posts over here and choose the length as well. And that is the overall Microsoft Copilot interface and different features that you can access with it. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.